Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I'm going to drain down this pond in anticipation of this big storm that's coming in. I'm going to drain it down as low as I can get it through the, the old overflow. Because as you can see, it's right at the it's right at the level of the spillway right now. So I'm going to take it down. It's probably about 10 inches. Now if it's really raining, it'll, it can fill back up that much in an hour. But I'm going to uh, run a bunch through these pits. And then I'm going to angle this pipe around and uh, just divert it off down the, the access road there. But I have to get the level of this pond down so we don't have a... So we less, slightly lessen the chance of a catastrophic failure here. And I'm going to have the guys come down shortly and clean these pits out. Alright, well, I've got the floppy pits as full as I want to get them. And I'm shy one coupling right there. I'm not losing much out the bottom there. I kind of put that together so that it'll work. Let's drain it out here. That's quite the little buzz of water going down there. So, And I may just leave this hooked up through the storm. I'll stop it off here directly. But this is going to run just like this until it stops. I'm going to go down here and make sure that this water is not going somewhere where I don't want it to go. Like right here. I knew I should have brought the shovel with me. Ah, well, I'll have to get the shovel I go. Alright, well, I got that little leak there fixed. I never did get the shovel. I do need to go get it. I've got to build this bank up here a little bit. I did clear out this channel a little bit. That's why that little choke point right there is why I had it overtopped. I'm going to go down here and check and make sure the water down here is going kind of sort of the way I want it to. This is still leaking through here. It always has. Since the first day we put this little dike up here, it's leaked through. Basically at the bottom. I think it's leaking here too. Yeah, this is draining on out just fine here. So we can easily handle this much flow, but this here, I need to get the crew down here and have them clean this out. That's all there is to it. So as you can see, that water comes on around here. Continues on here and goes around in the ditch and eventually drains into the rice field. 
the reason I was talking with Tatai that I was concerned that all our seeds and new baby rice would wash away because basically a hectare drains into this rice field, into these rice fields. Everything from the pond, everything from the plateau, might even be a hectare and a half, all drains into here. This is the more of the ditch continuing along here. The water just hasn't got this far yet. Tatai says, uh, because I talked to him about it yesterday, he's going to bring the crew down and that's going to be all their afternoon project. He says he wants to build a, a containment berm all the way around these uh, little uh, the, where he's planted the rice so that it forces the water around it into the next field and I I don't know I think that's more like a crew of 10 for an afternoon because that little area right there is basically uphill so that's got to be dug out as well as the a berm at least a foot high all the way around the seedling beds. So, the more I'm looking at it, the more I should probably just go get them now and have them commence. But we do have two days. Today's uh, Saturday. Well, we don't have two days because they're all taking off tomorrow. And we have two days until the storm gets here. You know what, I'm going to go look at the satellite. I was just talking to a buddy of mine here and we were talking about the storm and I haven't looked at the satellite in about 12 hours. So I'm going to go get my update on this storm. The water's moving through pretty good now. What I'm draining out of the pond is about what this ditch can handle right now in its current state. Because it's just a couple inches from overtopping here and going down through this. And that's what it's normally been doing. So there's some water coming through it now. All right, well, maybe I'll just go get the shovel my own dang self because they're going to be busy this afternoon. I'll just go get the shovel and it just needs to be built up a little bit right here and cleaned out up to that tree right there. Everything else, it is what it is. But I, need, I do need about 10 inches of soil right there. And I think I can get that out of the ditch itself. And it needs to be cleaned out, all that grass and weeds and stuff just impedes the flow. That needs to be cleaned out. So I'll get on it. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.